Hi everyone, today we're going to talk about the effects of transactions on the accounting equation. The accounting equation is made up of assets, liabilities, and owner's equity. And within owner's equity, there would be capital, drawings, revenues, and expenses. So presented below are eight business transactions. Indicate the effects of each transaction on each element of the accounting equation. So eight. Purchase $259 of supplies on accounts. Supplies is an asset's account, and buying on accounts would be a liability. So in this case, it would involve both assets and liabilities. B. Performed $497 of service on accounts. So providing services you will usually get cash or some sort of assets so it will involve the asset accounts and also service basically is revenue so it, in this case it would involve the asset accounts and the revenue accounts C paid $291 of operating expenses so when you pay expenses usually you would have to pay with an asset so in this case it would involve assets and operating expense is an expense so in this case it would be assets and expenses for D paid $259 of cash on accounts for the supplies purchased in item A above so you paid $259 cash on accounts. You're paying off a previous liability with an assets. So assets and liabilities would be involved in this transaction. E. Invested $1,191 of cash in the business. When you get new cash, you get assets. And investing in a business involves investing in the capital so there will be assets and capitals involved F owner withdrew $350 of cash again um, it would involve cash as an asset and withdrawing money from the company would be uh, owner's equity accounts under drawings And for G, hired an employee to start working the following month. So in this case, it doesn't involve anything right now. So there are no effects on the accounting equation. And H, received $497 from a customer who had been billed previously in item B above. So you're receiving cash which is a asset account, but before you would have a accounts receivable, which is also an asset account. So in this case, it would involve assets and assets. And for I, purchased $435 of equipment in exchange for a notes payable. So you purchased equipment that would be an asset, but um, you get a notes payable, which is a liability. So in this case, it would be an assets and liabilities account. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave a comment below and I will answer your questions. Thank you and hope it helps.